The first Mega Man wasn't good, and the second Mega Man was better than it. So you might expect the third Mega Man to be better than either of them, right? Yeah, no. <laughs> no, no, no. It's a literally unfinished game, and playing it feels like falling down the stairs. You know how Mega Man 2 suffered from being rushed? Well, Mega Man 3 is like that, but multiplied by 6. There isn't even an opening cutscene this time when there is a mid-game and ending cutscene, but because of the fact that there's no opening cutscene, you don't even know what the hell anybody's talking about during the other cutscenes. So Wily is good now, yeah, sure. And he and Dr. Light are working together to make a giant peacekeeping robot called Gamma. In order to power him, they need some energy elements from a bunch of different planets, so they sent robot masters that they made together to those planets to mine for the energy elements, and now they're going haywire, so now Mega Man needs to go investigate. I wonder what could possibly be going wrong. What? You think I did that? Let's start off with the good things about Mega Man 3. The music is still really good for the most part. The items from Mega Man 2 were replaced with a dog robot named Rush. I like him, he's cool. And Mega Man can slide now, which is great for maneuverability and traversing stages. Okay, that's everything good I have to say about Mega Man 3. To start off, most of the weapons in this game are completely useless. And yes, Mega Man 2 had a problem where most of the weapons sucked in comparison to the Metal Blade, but here? Only one weapon in the entire game is really good, and that's the Rush Jet, which is so overpowered that you can skip entire sections with it. And when I say the weapons in Mega Man 3 suck, I don't just mean in comparison to Rush Jet. No, they're all just completely fucking useless. Spark Shock freezes enemies but doesn't do damage and doesn't let you switch weapons when they're frozen. Magnet Missile has barely any ammunition. Gemini Laser only lets you shoot one laser at a time, which stays on the screen for an eternity, rarely hits anything, and doesn't let you switch weapons until it's gone, as well as slowing the game down because the game runs like ass. Top Spin forces you to ram into enemies in order to damage them, but if they don't die in one hit, it doesn't stop you from taking damage. And also, sometimes it just glitches out and wastes all of the weapon energy instantly. Hard Knuckle takes too long to get moving to actually hit anything that isn't stationary. Search Snake is rarely complemented by the level design. Shadow Blade has awful range. Needle Cannon is just the Mega Buster again! Rush Marine can't be used outside of water, which is rarely even in the game to begin with. Rush Coil isn't even a weapon, and you're mostly just going to use it when the game forces you to. It's not just the weapons that suck, though. The levels themselves are also terrible. For example, Snake Man's stage is coated with the most eye-piercing shade of green possible, and then can't even commit to the theme because near the end it just becomes a cloud theme stage for some reason. Shadow Man stage is full of these little frog fuckers who you can't even shoot unless they're in the middle of the air. There's even a room with these guys in Gemini Man stage where you literally cannot avoid taking damage if you only have the Mega Buster. And there are flea versions of them in Top Man stage which also can't commit to a theme. Gemini Man stage forces you to shoot through all of these bricks and the enemies that come out of them in order to progress, which takes forever. Spark Man stage has falling blocks that don't give you enough time to pass underneath them unless you just bolt from the beginning of the room and move to the right at all times. Plus, the walls are trying to give me a seizure! Hard Man stage is boring and has these annoying bear trap things that feel like they're random whether or not they attack you. And there are enemies that spawn five other enemies, and if there are like more than two things on screen at a time in this game, it tanks the performance. Some of the stages have this mini boss that you have to fight in the middle of them, and he never changes. Although, in one of the stages, he actually helps you by destroying a barrier, so wh wh why? Why does he help you here? He's an inconsistent character. I would have no idea that any of these levels are supposed to be on other planets if I didn't read the manual, because none of these places look like other planets, they all just look like places on Earth. And with the exception of Top Man, who's a complete and utter joke, the bosses in this game are just spammy and annoying, and they will screw you over if you don't kill them fast enough. But hey, you finished the Robot Master stages, so now you get to go on to the Wily ones, right? Mmm, sorry... yeah... Somebody at Capcom thought that fans would say, hey, Mega Man 3 isn't as good as Mega Man 2. So his solution was to put four levels where you have to replay the Robot Master stages, but they're much harder, and they have the bosses from Mega Man 2 in them. 
two per stage. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! That's not what I meant! The first checkpoint in each of these stages is after you fight the first of the two bosses. Meaning that if you die to the first boss, you have to go all the way back to the beginning. And if the nonsensical weaknesses to the Robot Masters that are original to Mega Man 3 wasn't confusing enough to you, well, you're in luck, because now you have to guess the Robot Master weaknesses for the Mega Man 2 bosses using a set of weapons completely unrelated to them. And this set of levels is way harder than anything else in the game. For example, the Doc Robot Needleman stage has this section after the first boss, where you have to go across this entire chasm using the Rush Jet. But, you need to recharge Rush Jet on the way there, and if you die, the capsules to recharge Rush Jet so you can keep using it again and try again, don't respawn. So if you die at all during this section, you're fucked! This game hates you! But okay, you beat all the Doc Robot stages, so now you get to go to the Wily Ones- OH GOD DAMN IT! So after you defeat this guy again, you have to sit through a cutscene. And then, you get to go to the Wily stages. These stages hand out E-Tanks like they're government mandated. When you go to fight Wily in Gamma, there's literally a room that's just a debug room that they left in the game. But then, when you go and fight them, they're really, really easy. And even though Gamma is immune to most of your weapons, Top Spin just kills him almost instantly. Mega Man and Wily then get covered in rubble, so at least Mega Man doesn't just leave Wily this time. And the mini boss from earlier shows up and rescues Mega Man. And then it's revealed that he's another one of Dr. Light's robots who was just built before Mega Man. And you can also see that Wily is still alive, although given that his ship is in front of the tree, that should mean that he's really small instead of that he's in the background. So is Mega Man 3 the worst video game I've ever played? It's up against some pretty stiff competition being FNAF Security Breach and Super Meat Boy Forever, all three games feeling like they're just flipping you off the entire time you play them, one of which literally does flip you off, but they're all so bad and so insulting, it's hard for me to choose which one is the worst. Okay, it's Mega Man 3.